Hello, in this video, we're going to integrate the absolute value of the sine of x with respect to x from 0 to 3 pi over 2. So the idea here is to break this up using the definition of absolute value. So recall that the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. It's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to minus x if x is less than 0. So in this particular case, we have the absolute value of sine x. This will be equal to sine x in the case where x is greater than or equal to 0. And the absolute value of sine x will be equal to minus sine x. And this will be true when x is less than 0. We have to think about the graph of sine between 0 and 3 pi over 2 and try to determine when it's positive and when it's negative. So here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. So we know that the sine of 0 is 0, and it goes up like this. Then it crosses the x-axis here at pi. Sine of pi is 0, so this is pi. And it comes back down, and then 3 pi over 2 is here. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, so this is negative 1. And this is 1, and this is pi over 2. So from 0 to pi, it's going to be positive. And then from pi to 3 pi over 2, it's going to be negative. So let's go ahead and break this integral up. Solution. So we have that the integral from 0 to 3 pi over 2 of the absolute value of the sine of x with respect to x, so dx, is equal to, so again, from 0 to pi, it's above the x-axis, so it's positive. So the absolute value of sine x is equal to sine x. So from 0 to pi, instead of the absolute value of sine of x, we can write sine x in the integrand. And then dx. Right? This is called the integrand. And then from pi to 3 pi over 2, it's going to be negative. So the absolute value of sine x is negative sine x. This is plus pi to 3 pi over 2. So in this case, it's minus sine x. And we have a parentheses here and a dx. All right, now we can finish up. So we have to integrate sine. So we're thinking backwards. What's a, fu what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the integral of sine should be negative cosine. And you should check this. If you differentiate negative cosine, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So you get a double negative and you get sine. We're going from 0 to pi. Here it's a little bit easier because when you integrate negative sine, you just get cosine. So plus cosine. And again, you should mentally check the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We're going from pi to 3 pi over 2. All right, so now we plug in the top number first. So this is equal to negative cosine of pi. minus, and then we plug in the bottom number, parentheses, negative cosine of 0. Not skipping any steps. It's really easy to mess up in problems like this. So you plug in the pi, you subtract, because you're always supposed to subtract, and then we have negative cosine of 0 because we plugged in the 0. Plus, plug in the top number, so you'll get cosine of 3 pi over 2. And then minus, plug in the bottom number, so you get cosine of pi. This is equal to, the cosine of pi is negative 1, so we already have a negative here, so it's going to be 1. Okay? Cosine of 0 is 1, we have negative and negative, so it's going to be plus 1. Plus, cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so it's minus negative 1. We end up with 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And that would be the final answer. Kind of interesting. If you think about the graph, what's happening here is this area here in yellow, this area here is 2. And then if you look at the, if you take this region here and, you know, you consider it positive, the area here would be 1. It's really, it's really not, um, 
yeah, it would be one, right? So this this region here, the area of this region is one. So you have two plus one, which gives you three. Kind of cool. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you've learned some math. Till next time, good luck.